For sure. Howdy, howdy. How you doing? My name is Pete. Hello, Pete. Thank you. Got fish there. Cool. You didn't know you were going getting into this. Oh, I, I was totally ready for that. I, <laughs> I, I can accept that. Did you get yourself snagged? There you go. Hello, Pete. I'm Dolly. I'm Don. What's that? Don. Don? Okay. Oh, no, you, you said your name is Don? Dolly. D-A-L-I. Oh, like Salvador? Yes. If you put the headphones on, I can hear you much better. Okay. Or actually, it's the other way around. Hello. Hello. Now you hear me real good. Yeah. Okay. Can you turn this down a little bit? Yes. How many channels is that? Six input plus some uh, like instrument or feeds. That's pretty cool. So by some way of counting something like 12 or, or 8, depends on how you count. Yeah. Is the microphone good setting for you? Yeah. Good. 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 So... Uh, in street epistemology, this is what we're doing. Well, by the way, we're on live stream. Are you okay with being recorded and live streamed? That's fine. Good, good. Uh, in in this, uh, this is a conversational method where we ask you what you believe. We ask you for the reasons why you believe, and we just take you down on your side without arguing yeah. from an alternative position. Yeah, that's, that works. Cool, cool. So tell me a thing you believe. I believe in math. Oh, cool. Um. I believe in faith. Okay. Um, I don't know if I can believe. I've never seen it, but I trust. But I think I, I trust it. Okay. Um, I believe LA is really cool. Okay. I believe I voted right. <laughs> okay. Um, I believe. With math, it's not very controversial. Yeah. Uh, so we'd get very quickly. Uh, LA is cool. Again, not very controversial. LA rocks. Okay. Faith. And the other one. Uh, uh, could you define faith for me? I really don't know. I mean, I was raised Catholic. Okay. 11, 12 years. Okay. And uh, I had, since I moved to LA 10 years ago, I've had the opportunity to meet these people you know, they just, they just talk, and I, I actually broke my back when I came here. Oh, wow. All I had was documentaries, and, uh -huh. and I watched a bunch of them. I watched all this. I watched Gilgamesh, uh -huh. uh, and I sing a lot of things that correlate, and I also, you know, I'm looking at Jesus and God, and, and there's no there's no way that he could have done that. That's The Catholicism, Christianity, was made for the upper upper echelon to control the masses. Okay. Um I don't. I believe in Jesus, but I think why? Why would why would Jesus kill his son, his, his children? He didn't kill Aaron. Hmm. Aaron, uh, Isaac, well, Abraham, I, Isaac. I, yeah, I, I, uh -huh. Isaac. Yeah. I mean, he didn't kill him. Right. And that's that's what I was told by a, a man from Iran. Uh huh. Who studies all these codexes and all this other stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you if you talk to the Muslims, they will actually put. Ishmael in that role with Abraham on the mountain. Yeah. They, they just see it slightly different. I don't believe in the pyramids. Oh, you don't believe in the pyramids? That I don't believe that we made them in the time frame we did. Interesting. What? How do you think they came about? I really don't know. But I mean, we, we don't know how they did it, but okay. you know, we, we go into the main uh, Khufu pyramid and they find, you know, on the outer walls, it actually had like cells and they find water stains, they find barnacles, they even found a sea cow in there. They said it was made to be waterproof for something. Oh, wow. The, uh, the, the structure itself was made waterproof. Yeah. 
Okay. Um, they said, I mean, I mean, some of the people, like lay people said it was made in 20 years and this is how many stones they are. are, are. Okay. It, it's not possible what they did 20 years to make that, but you know, we have to put one block, but it'll be more like 40 to 50 years. Harvesting, okay. you know, 150 ton rocks from another country just to make it, make the, the pyramid. Yes, yes. I, I we, we can't do it so now. The, so the time it would have taken to harvest the blocks is more like 50 years than 20? Uh, it's, it's correct. Plus, three months out of the year, they have a rainy season, and the pyramids were close to the Nile, and they yes. wouldn't have been able to work in that. Okay, so they would have only been able to work during part of the year, yeah. and it would have taken them 40 or 50 years if they were working the whole year round. Yeah. So maybe it takes 70 or 80 years? That's possible. I, okay. I, you know? it if, if it took 70 or 80 years to get one pyramid done, does that change anything? It changes. I mean, actually, it changes. It changes everything. Okay. Um, I think there's a bunch of stuff that we know as a civilization, but we don't want to. Uh, we don't want to address publicly because it's going to change our history. Our history. Oh. Books. Oh, do tell. Like, what would be an example of something that that would shake our foundations or shake our world if we if we knew them? In the Bible, there's a, there was one of the sons of Adam was Enoch. Okay. Yes. Uh huh. They found him. A statue of him with another name. I forgot his name, but he was one of the high. He wasn't part of the family, but he was just like a, a scholarly person. So high, they made a statue of him. Okay. A Jew in Egypt. Uh, of Enoch. Enoch. Yeah, it, it had a different name. Enoch was okay. supposedly said in the Bible. It doesn't have much on Enoch. He rose to God and went. Right. And then there was Methuselah and Abraham uh, and Noah. I tried to read the book of Enoch once. And it was so confusing with the way it was. It was like we only had some parts of it. It was, and that that that's not one that's in the usual Bible. Yeah. But it's made reference to a lot in the Bible. That's why I was interested in reading it. You know, I, I was watching. I don't know. If, maybe it's right. Maybe it's wrong. But they were talking about they putting the King James verse together. Yes. It, it was you know five six hundred years ago. It was against the law legal to have to read the Bible. So they came up with the King James. Oh yeah. And they put they, uh, all these submissions were, you know, put in, and some got accepted, and some were rejected. I okay. think they, I think they accepted the one that fit the Catholic Church the most. <laughs> they had the Gospel of Peter, yes. which was totally way out there. They even found the Gospel of Jesus, which yes. said there's salvation within within you, within man, within man. I'm trying to remember uh, the Catholic versus the Protestant. Was that something? Yeah, I think I think Martin Luther was well before the King James version of the Bible, I think right? It could be. It could so be. there was a big split between the the Protestants and the Catholic by the time they 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 wrote it in the vernacular. Yeah, I mean, I don't know that much. I'd I'd like to find. I can go find out, but yeah, but I don't. I mean, what happens to you when you die? Um, I mean, well, I I I don't know. I'd like to know. Yeah, I, I don't think I have, asking you personally, I don't have reason to think that anything happens to me other than it's a lot like before I was born. I think what happens when I die is I become 100 kilograms of rotting ape meat. Okay, but uh, do you, and is there any, like, anything like a, any, uh, come out of your body, like a spirit? or? I don't have any reason to think so. I've heard a lot of people say so, and if they have good reason to think so, I want to understand it. I, I mean, one, I, it confuses me, the Bible. Sometimes it says, you know, uh, this, this, it makes sense. And it says this it doesn't make sense in our, okay. in our, uh, what do you want to call it? Our community today. Sure. And it's, yeah, I forgot what I was going to say, but uh, it's just really hard because I see so many incongruencies. Okay. And. What's going on? And then I look at the Catholic Church, yes. what they're going through. And in the Bible, God said, you know, I'm going to be a, a jealous God. Yes. I'm going to, you're my people. Yes. I, I am your God. I, I, I am jealous. Yeah. Uh, I don't know if that's true. I, I remember this in Exodus. Uh-huh. Um, and so. Somewhere between chapter 16 and 20 for some reason, but I don't remember exactly. And I, I just, I don't know what to believe. Yeah. Because there's so many good people I see. What are going to happen? What happens to them? I mean, see, a, 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 a 
a pygmy tribe. Never ever, you know, right. seen a human. Uncontacted tribes. How can they? You know, what 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 is it like for somebody who's never ever heard? Do they get a pass? I, you know, I, well, I don't know. I mean, I, give yourself ten years on the on Discovery Channel or history. history <laughs> yeah, that'll do it. But um, that's one thing I I want to I want to believe there's something after okay after life. So if you want to believe there's something after life, so let's see if we can find reasons to believe in an afterlife. The Bible, you say, yeah. if it has incongruencies, could it still be largely correct and have some errors? Yeah. Okay. It so can. we don't have to take those incongruencies and throw the whole thing out. No. Because it doesn't have to be perfect to be to have some real in it. So what in the Bible leads you to uh, an afterlife? I guess Jesus, because it says so. Jesus goes to Joseph of Arimathea's tomb after when he died, and okay. three days later, they, the stone was rolled. You know, he was gone. Okay. And that's and he came back also to talk to his disciples and gave them tongues of fire. Okay. Did he come back spiritually or did he come back physically? I I don't know. I think it was both. Okay. Does that indicate that we have a spiritual, non-physical extension of us, of our existence? I think so. Because he said so? Well, I, I don't know if he said so or not, but it's just everything we were taught. Okay. Be a good boy. Don't do this and you're, you know, you'll go to heaven when you're. My memory of Jesus is that he definitely said we can join him in heaven if we are saved. Yeah. Yeah. So is there good reason to believe Jesus was correct? Yes. Yes. Even if he, well. Is it the resurrection is the good reason to think so? I don't think he died. You don't think, oh, you think he didn't die. Yeah. So maybe the Muslims are correct. Yeah, there's. One, but, uh, sorry, I don't mean to change yeah, the subject. That's, that's okay. Some people say that. I mean, during the crucifixions, they took them. They took them down after a certain amount of time. Okay. They were, were dead or not? They said Jesus lived. Okay, so this could be a swoon or 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 a coma theory. And of course, at the time, they 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 weren't any good at pronouncing death. Yeah. They could have gotten that wrong. Okay. Um. I mean, this just takes me it's down the rabbit hole. I mean, there's every... Maybe. And I remember reading in the Bible, it said, I don't, God's like, I don't want you. You don't go to, to sports. And it doesn't say it, but I was told you don't go to fortune tellers. You don't go... Right. Uh, don't go to Bali buying all these masks or... or, or, or... Right. Now we're talking First Samuel and uh, also... Uh... Leviticus has rules against uh, not suffering a witch to live and don't go see witches, don't you see div diviners. And then I think Saul went and saw a diviner and got uh, punished in uh, uh, for, for Samuel. Okay. Was it was that Saul that became Paul or Peter? No, uh, this is in the Old oh, Testament. Was... This is Saul who became king before David. Yeah. You know a lot. You, you know your Bible. I used to be a, I used to be a Christian. I grew up in a fundamentalist missionary school, oh. and then from 2000 through 2007, I was a Jewish convert. Oh, so I, I studied a lot of the Bible. Do you have a Pentateuch? Do you, do you... I, I have studied the Pentateuch. Okay. I'm sure I'm sure I have a copy of it around somewhere. I, I've always wanted. I mean, I, I've, I'm not Jewish, but I've, I've I have friends that are, but most uh -huh. of them are just you know uh, not. They don't go to the temple. I don't. Well, so sometimes I think about the Jewish church. Yes. Do you uh, do you go to Gehenna when you die? Uh, that's one of the things that's said. The Jews, though, don't see the New Testament. And it's not clear in Jewish scripture yeah. that there's even necessarily an afterlife. Some Jews believe in a reincarnation. Some Jews believe in an afterlife. But they don't have a scripture that mentions it. The Old, the Old Testament doesn't ever mention uh, either hell or heaven or an afterlife. Okay. So that's a New Testament notion. And and that, so the Jews are, are, they have a lot of different opinions, but they don't hold any of those opinions as uh, like dogmatic or theological necessarily. Yeah, I, I got to say that the Torah, yes. when they found the Dead Sea Scroll, I mean, they, they found all these, you know, ch chap. Throughout history, they found like the Gospel of Mark, Gospel of Luke, uh -huh. and they've been different, yes. you know. But they found the whole Pentateuch many times or a couple of times, sure. and it was Dead word, Sea Scrolls, word for word. Yeah, yeah, the Dead Sea Scrolls. Uh huh. And I just, I wonder how that could be, you know. It's just like, uh, how? Oh, 
I mean, I mean, I don't know. That's that, I think that's that, that goes on. And I think about like the, the leaders of the churches. And yes. They just seem to be like some of them to me don't seem to be very uh, scrupulous. Uh, the, the, does so Benny Hinn if, if, uh, yeah okay he, Benny Hinn sure I'm, I'm familiar with him with the faith healing and like throwing around and slapping people on the forehead and they fall over yeah yeah, yeah I'm familiar with him I, I don't think he makes Christianity look very good no. I think his healing record is quite poor given the claims he makes oh uh, I mean I don't know there's just a bunch of I see I don't know what I see but I don't know if I'm supposed to uh, judge a person like that or not, you know. Jesus says, "Always look the other way." You know? Okay. Be a nice person. And I'm trying to be that these days. Yeah, I I like that a lot. But I mean, I don't go to church. Uh huh. I just uh, be the best I can, and I I try to be nice to people. That's excellent. Some, I I really like that plan. But sometimes I make a mistake, mm -hmm. and and I gotta pay. I gotta own up to it. Yeah, yeah. So. We're all human. Yeah. It's it's okay that we make mistakes sometimes, especially if we can learn from them. Yeah, uh, indeed. I always told myself I wanted to get into Gilgam. There's Gilgamesh, and then there's uh, who's after Northern Iran. I think it's okay. Uh, Gilgamesh is is the a story from three thousand thirty five hundred years ago. Yeah, uh, a, about a king uh, who who then goes. After um, Eternal Youth, yeah, it's part of the story. And there's also a flood story that's very similar to the Noah's flood from about a thousand years prior, except the boat was square. Yeah, and it wasn't a worldwide flood; it was more of a local flood. And you know, so somebody was taking his uh, animals to market, and then got caught up in a flood and got washed way out to the Mediterranean Ocean, that kind of thing. That was that was the flood of Gilgamesh. It's a little bit different. I, I, I mean, I have you ever seen a movie called The Man from Earth? The man who fell to Earth, David Bowie. No, no, the no. man from Earth. It's man about this. Earth. It's a uh, a guy is a professor. Okay. Every ten years he moves. Okay. It turns out he's lived for fourteen thousand years. Yes. And at, when he t when he goes, uh, he's leaving his college. He's having a farewell party. Yes. He drives late. He's and you know he's at starts answering questions of, with, in first person. That he's been to oh. and at the end of it he says he's jesus oh and this one a, a, a professor in religious studies that like, you can't be jesus it turned out like you know he did all this stuff he moved from like the france walked he went to uh -huh. india he said he studied under the buddha okay that's a good deal went north to, like italy with the etruscans okay he did he did he left there and he went to israel taught people some good ways to, to clean and make food and prepare and he knew a way to slow his heart Okay, and I don't believe. I mean, that, that that's that's totally fiction. But you know, it's I don't know. That'd be that'd be a, a big one. Yeah. Sometimes I go. Is is that homeless lady? Well, looks beat up. Is that Jesus? Hmm. Yes. Uh, the first thing is that I have to understand how somebody could be someone from the past. Is that a reincarnation? Is this a revisiting? How did how did that happen? He just lived. He had. They said. Perfect, oh, just as heaven died. He hasn't died. Perfect re oh, okay. regeneration and recycling of his food and organs. Okay, so immortal person. Yeah. Okay. Immortal person, no problem. Okay, so from the from the audience, uh, I somebody has looked up the IMDb, The Man from Earth from 2007. Mm -hmm. That's great. I will maybe check that out later. Um, JCT says, Pete is awesome. Hell's Bell says, I like Pete. He wins a gold star for wanting to be a good person. <laughs> Yes, good morals thank there. You. Yeah, very, very good. So, yeah, thank you for thank you for having this conversation. I was fishing. I was looking down. I was like, "What's yeah. going on?" It's like, "Okay." Yeah, what? we're just doing we're we're doing a conversational style where we ask people about the reasons for believing things, and uh, we try to not push from a different perspective. Just hear them out. Yeah, I, I could be totally wrong, but if I live a good life and be nice to people, I got it. And I'm wrong. Uh, at least I tried. Yeah. Oh, totally. Totally. That's the best we could hope for. Yeah. I think. Yeah. But anyway, I'm going to throw this a couple Thank times. You. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Enjoy that and come by for water. Oh, I appreciate that. Appreciate talking to you. Thank you. All right. Bye-bye, well, Pete. Dolly. Yes, Dolly. Okay. D-A-L-I. I'm going to carry this instead. <laughs> Thank you.
Do we have a bag or? No, that's okay. I, I got it. Okay. And if that's a fish and divide it. Puzzle piece. Yes. You see the the three color puzzle piece? Yeah. We'd like to offer you one of those. Okay. As a as an obvious bribe to have you come back for more conversations. Are you going to be here? Yeah. I'm here every day. Great. Yeah, I'll do it. You sure. don't have to give me one of those. Okay. But I'll take. This. And you're welcome to it. Yes. Thank you, darling. Thank you. Thank you. I've got all that copyrighted. <laughs> Copyright. Well, uh, sort of, kind of. Nice. Yes, indeed. I did that whole thing in the wide F to F scene. It never occurred to me to shift to shift scenes to anything else, but I think it worked out. I think it worked out. Let's see. It's but a good scene. Slides. You can see the setting that we're in. Uh, I did not I manage to establish one claim when I attempted to ask. I asked about faith. I asked about a couple of things. I asked for a couple of claims. And each time he uh, turned about 70 degrees away from the claim and went off in a different direction. Uh, but yet he continued to make some kinds of claims and continue to go along with explaining reasons why. And then I started asking me questions. And I don't want to uh, retire from that. If he wants to switch it around and ask me questions, I want to be willing to do that. I think we had a good conversation about why and how. It wasn't very uh, formal SE, but it worked. Hey, hey, we're doing free speech and free water. It's a package deal. No, I'm kidding. You can have, you can have either one. Yeah, we're doing interviews. You don't have to. It, th those six are just suggestions. You can have any topic you like. Yeah. 